or when rather, when do you think the BOJ will really start to mean business and really start to meaningfully start normalising uh, policy and where does that leave uh, the narrative towards uh, Japanese assets? I think it'll be quite a while before the BOJ starts to do any sort of uh, aggressive tightening. Uh, I sort of agree with the consensus, maybe not quite the timing, that they may raise the short-term interest rates to around 25 basis points, probably uh, closer to the later half or end of the year rather than this summer. Uh, I think they'll be on a wait and see. Uh, although this spring Shunto was good in terms of the wage negotiations, especially for large corporates, but I think we need to wait and see if that filters down to especially small uh, companies. Uh, so, so I think the BOJ needs to wait to see that data before they'll move more aggressively. And on the bond buying, I think they'll definitely taper off. But, you know, when do they get to sort of quantitative tightening? Uh, that may be a way of, away. Does October sound right to you in terms of uh, meaningful or aggressive tightening? No, I think that's still a bit early. Um, I, I, the, the one case scenario in which they may do more aggressive tightening is if there's excessive yen weakness. I think, you know, the 150 yen to the dollar is a bit of a red line. Uh, maybe they can tolerate a little bit weaker than that. But if the yen starts to weak, weaken significantly, I think that's a scenario in which the BOJ may be forced to act more aggressively. The negative impacts of uh, excessively weak yen, I think, are uh, bigger than the positive benefits to exporters. So yeah, I think right the hit on domestic consumption would leave the BOJ concerned. All right, so we're at about 151 and a third or thereabouts on uh, dollar yen. Uh, are, are you, uh, like a lot of other people, thinking that, look, it, uh, whether yen goes up or not depends less on uh, the BOJ uh, and more on when the Fed starts cutting and how quickly or how aggressively? Uh, absolutely. I, I think the yen dollar is going to primarily be driven by the Fed. Uh, I think the U.S. labor market is remains very tight. Uh, wage growth remains strong. And that means it's we're likely to be in a higher for longer scenario for longer than people thought. So I don't really expect any meaningful Fed cuts until sort of the second half of this year and may not be until next year.